Hello lovely people. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I make my cake fudge, my chocolate fudge cake mix balls. I'll be adding a few ingredients to for it to become like a homemade. It looks proper fudgy and it tastes good. Stay tuned. Get all your ingredients and let's start baking. Hello lovely people. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I make my chocolate fudge cake mix. And it has all the ingredients which you need to add to it at the back of the box. So it tells you to add three medium sized eggs, 100 ml of vegetable oil, 75 ml of water, and it has a nice and sugar in it. So the box also tells you to add 100 grams of softened butter to the icing sugar and this box cake can make seven or eight inch cake pan but i'll be baking mine in my bounce um cake tin and i'll be substituting my water for buttermilk and it says 75 mils but i'll be adding 125 mils of buttermilk to it so let's go over the ingredients that we'll be adding to the cake mix. So I have my my um, eggs here. I have my vegetable oil. Then I have my buttermilk. I have, I'm going to add a bit of vanilla extract and I'll be adding a bit of cocoa powder to it. So first you need to preheat your oven, which I have done mine. You have to preheat your oven at 160 degrees and you have to also butter your cake pan which i have done mine so we'll be sifting our cake box mix in most of my videos which i have done a cake box i have so i have added four eggs but today i'll be trying the um, three eggs to see how forgy and soft the cake box looks like and this is the icing which comes in the box and this is the cake mix okay so first that's what I'll do. Then I'll add two tablespoonful of cocoa powder. I want my chocolate cake to be more chocolate, uh, chocolatey. Then we'll add my vegetable oil. We'll add my buttercream. Then We'll add my three eggs and then we'll add my vanilla extracts. If you want more sweets in it, you can add one tablespoon of sugar to it. If you have a hand mixer, you can use your hand mixer. If you don't have a hand mixer, you can use your whisk or your rubber ladle. <laughs> Okay, it's ready to go in my pan. I 
want all my butter to come out from my waist. So baby, I need to pay my name on my dolly's kitchen day. So baby, say we feel it, yeah, until dolly's kitchen day. So baby, I need to pay my name on my dolly's kitchen day. So baby, say we feel it, yeah, until dolly's kitchen day. Professional cook, oh yeah, dear. Professional cook, only one one. Let me hear it. Let's have no more. Let me hear it. Let's have no more. Let me hear it. 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 Then I'm going to hit it on my work working surface to release all the bubbles in it. Then it's straight into the oven. So I'll be baking it for almost 30 to 45 minutes. So we'll show you the end results when it's finished baking. All right, guys. So after 40 minutes, our cake is ready. And then it's coming out from the oven. And to check if your cake is well cooked inside, you put in your skewer or your toothpick. If you don't find any crumbs on the skewer or your toothpick, then it's ready. So we'll leave it in the pan for 15 minutes before we take it out. All right, guys. So after the 15 minutes, our cake came out really nice from our bounce. So it's time to do your frosting. And I have my 100 grams of butter. So if you have a hand mix, you can use it. Or if you have your stand mix, you can also use it. Or you can still use it. So you beat your butter for five minutes. Sugar to it. Then we'll add a bit of milk. So I end up added another tablespoon full of milk to it. Spreading it on top of a cake. So pepper on the mama doll is kitchen day. So pepper will fill it here If you don't like the icing, you can add ganache to it, which is a chocolate and yeah. um, heavy cream melted together. So, baby, I'm not going to 
Some person who feel it here, yeah, and they don't listen to you. Some people don't listen to you, and they don't listen to you. So, after spreading your chocolate um, icing on your cake, it's looking delicious already. We'll try it. The cake is proper fudgy, proper soft, and so that's how it looks like. It's a simple recipe. Just get your cake balls. Add whatever you want to add to it and then bake it. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. And if you have, thanks very much. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye.